Now, Chris Min's reluctance to support cashless gaming has been condemned recently, particularly by his old boss, former Labor leader John Robertson. Now, some argue that whilst cashless gaming would support crime prevention, it could potentially be detrimental to gambling addicts, which is what Dom Perrottet, the Premier, is using to justify it. it I, I think it's unpopular with a lot of people within his own party. Mm. For Dom Perrottet, I, I, I watched, and this shows how sad my life is, the New South Wales when they launched uh, the election, the Liberal mm. Party, and when that was brought up, the cheers weren't as raucous. It was actually quite silent. Mm. But it's brave of him to go out and limb with this. I think it's incredibly brave, and it's not apparently a voting's win. You're not going to win votes off it. I think it's an integrity issue. And I don't even call it... Um, I don't call it gambling. You cannot win. You cannot win it on pokies. It wouldn't exist. If so, you won, it would not exist it would not as exist. a business it, model. It's a money-making scheme. I think he's, he's pushing hard. I actually want poking machines just abolished. I just honestly, in the same way that you can't smoke in a pub or, you know, and we have massive um, uh, change in smoking laws and all sorts of laws, I just do not see how it benefits people. We have particularly lower socioeconomic groups are really, there's, there's sort of structural problems within gambling. Then it becomes generational and then you just, it's just... I just can't understand why. I, I know that, yes, the pubs and clubs put money into community groups. That's not should who should be funding community mm. groups. It should be taxpayers' um, taxes that are funding community look, groups. I know a lot of people who, who, you know, sports bet and do it sensibly and enjoy it and they're adults and they have the right to make their own decision. But, Francis, I also know multiple people who have had their entire lives destroyed by gambling addictions. That's correct. And I think, yeah, I think um, Dominic's on, on, on the right path and the, the idea of trying to reduce it because I think the, the alternative, I mean, having it cashless versus um, or, or cash, it doesn't defeat, the, uh, doesn't solve the problem. I think um, getting rid of poke is, is a solution. But I, I must add that, you know, talking to um, people who run clubs, that, that their concern is too that what do we do about jobs, um, that, you know, people who work in clubs. So, this is a quite a, it is it is a quite a big issue, but I think the fundamental thing about um, the cost on on, and on those on low socioeconomic families, I think um, getting rid of the pokies or limiting them completely there is a way to go. Yeah, it's complex, isn't it? I, I get it. And clubs do do a lot of good things, but as you said, is that a justification for some of the damage that they do? I don't know.